cleaning oven racks. I know it's nobody's favorite job. We often spend time cleaning our oven while our oven racks get sorely neglected. But today I'm gonna to show you two different ways to clean your oven racks. But first, if you're new to Clean Freaking Germaphobe, we love to clean and organize and disinfect. So if you're new here, make sure to hit subscribe, make sure to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified of our future videos. So I am showing you two different methods. Method one is used with cleaners that are gentle on you and not really toxic, but it does require a little bit more elbow grease to get the job done. Option two is for those of you who don't wanna scrub at all, you just wanna get the job done. With that, we're gonna use a chemical that's a little bit stronger, but it's gonna save you a lot of elbow grease. So let's get going. Starting off with option number one. Take your oven rack into the bathroom. Put a towel or a cloth on the bottom of your bathtub and fill the bathtub up with about three inches of very hot water. Then submerge your oven rack in that hot water. Next stop is to add detergent. And you have two options. You can either add dishwashing detergent or you could add laundry detergent. Both of them work well. Then you wanna add one fourth cup of Dawn. Stir that around in the water till it's agitated and dissolved. You wanna let that oven rack sit overnight. And yes, I know that water's gonna get cool overnight, but the heat at the beginning helps to loosen up that dried, burnt, caked on mess that is on your oven rack. After it's soaked overnight or for about eight hours, pull it out of the bathtub, grab your gloves and whatever it is you wanna scrub with and go to town. Because it's been sitting overnight, it is gonna clean up so much easier than it would have otherwise. It does still take a little bit of scrubbing, but give it a few minutes and you'll have a nice clean rack. Option number two. With option two, you will need ammonia, gloves, and one or maybe even two plastic bags. Again, I have chosen to work outside. I recommend that you do the same. You want your plastic bag to be big enough to hold your entire oven rack in there. Slide the oven rack inside and tighten the plastic bag up a little bit, not all the way, because the next step is you are going to fill the plastic bag with the ammonia. Now, my bag leaked, and so I ended up double bagging it to keep the ammonia in place. As an extra step, I dipped paper towels in the ammonia and put them on top of the dirtiest parts of the rack. That helps the ammonia to work a little bit better on the really tough spots. Don't fill the bag all the way up. You don't need to submerge the entire rack. Just the fumes themselves will help to remove the baked on gunk that's on your oven rack. Then tie up the bag. Again, mine is double bagged, so I'm gonna tie both of those up and I'm gonna tuck the tied end under so that no fumes or no ammonia will leak. And then I'm gonna leave it overnight or you can just do eight hours if you like. After the rack has sat for eight hours, again, make sure to use your gloves. You don't want the ammonia getting on your skin. It will burn. Carefully take the rack out of the bag. Try not to spill the ammonia everywhere, but careful, it can get a little messy. From here, this is my favorite part because it will come off so easily. Very little scrubbing is required. It just melts off like butter. So here are the results of my oven rack cleaning. I'm gonna show you close-ups of them. This is the one I did with ammonia. This is the one that I did in the bathtub with the dishwashing detergent. When you look closely, you'll see that this one is a lot cleaner, honestly, because I hardly had to scrub and it all came right off. This one, if you look closely, this one still has a few flecks of grease on it, only because I scrubbed it for about 10 minutes and that's about as long as I'm ever willing to scrub something. Out of the two, like I said, the ammonia definitely cleans faster and it cleans more thoroughly. A little bit, a lot harsher chemical though. And then this one still does a great job. You just gotta scrub a little bit more and definitely gentler and less toxic. So these are two great options for you and they both work very well. So my question for you is, which option do you prefer? Would you rather go with a stronger chemical but not scrub as much? Or would you rather go with a little gentler cleaning product but need to scrub a little bit more? I'm interested in what your opinion is on that. So put that in the comment section below. Now, if you would like to see how we clean our ovens. I have done a video on how to clean your oven with ammonia and I'm gonna put that right here. Check that out if you're interested in that. If you wanna see how to clean your oven with gentler chemicals, Janet did a great video on that and I'm gonna put that on a card right here as well. Again, if you're new to Clean Freaking Germaphobe, please hit subscribe, it means the world to us and we have a ton of fun and a lot of good tricks and hacks for you to help keep your house clean and organized. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and share it with anybody that you think would like to find the easiest way to clean your oven racks. Up next, I'm gonna put a link to our video on how I cleaned the dirtiest, greasiest stovetop that I have ever seen in my entire life, and I'm gonna put that link right here. Click on that, and I will see you over there.